All right, folks, today we're gonna do a little bit of shooting with this guy. We're gonna throw on a sight tape, but the exciting thing about today is we have a bunch of 3D targets. Figured, if I wanna figure out this ASA thing, I'm determined to go to every ASA tournament this year. So we got some 3D targets and we're gonna go set them up. We're gonna shoot them a little bit, see if I can't hit something. Maybe. <laughs> Imagine if I slipped and just right out of the lens. Right off. Um, so we're thinking about putting the targets scattered in this little tree row right here. That'll kind of give us some real life foliage of where they would be living in the wild. And it would just get them kind of secluded in like a real ASA. But. I think how many we have six six so we could do one two three four i mean really all through there all right that's enough scouting i don't know right what do you think like do one there do one like way back here It'd be kind of cool to shoot them all from the same spot too Delta McKenzie, send stakes with your targets. I didn't know that. That's kind of cool though. Then we'll do there. There, kind of boom, 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 boom. All standing from over there. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Not yet. If we stood on the pavement right here, that would be 38, 47, 40, 48. Yeah, that'd be all right. Same right here. Probably one of the hardest targets in ASA because it's black and you can't see any different variations in color. The only thing is sometimes you'll get like a little, little like sunlight beam or something, but it's very hard to aim at this target. That's why we have it. I would catch it. All right. ASA target number one going in to the ground. Right there. Boom! Just like that. That worked. Don't need a broken nose right off the bat. Got a one horn buck here. 
Because we already broke one off. He shut his antler. He shut his antler. It's a freaking, call him one horn. Oh, one horn book. That's everything. We have one, two, three, four, five? Oh, nope, I forgot. We gotta do one more. go all right now we're fully set up we have one two three four five six so we actually have a javelina also an older one but here we go let's go get a sight tape real quick and shoot and see if we can hit them in the right spot 41 45 43 45 48 42 it's a good mix most of the shots are like 45 yards, give or take a couple, so it's perfect. And I cannot see a single 12 ring at all. Nice, now we just need 14 more. 20 yards and it's starting to rain. So we're gonna get this quick, Let's see what happens. Good. Dude, there's a lot of people freaking talking some smack about my sight tapes recently. So I'm gonna get it right. I'm, I might do this one, not 100%, but I'm gonna get it right this time. Okay, so we're gonna try out the new Shibuya um, little integrated sight tapes. I did an unboxing on this site a little while ago. Ooh, that's a Phillips. Did an unboxing on this a little while ago, so if you're curious about this site, go check it out. But it comes with these little integrated sight tapes, which many manufacturers these days do. So it's nothing really special, but still very handy. So you're not messing with other sight tapes that can get wet and nasty and whatnot. But how do you take these out? Okay. So I just measured my my distance from my 20 to my 50. Now we're gonna line it up with one of these. No. Why do these all, oh no they don't. Okay, 14's claws. I'm gonna say 10. It's right for number 10. Tiny screws. Bingo bango. Let's go see if we can't hit some 12 rings. This is for score. Hopefully I hit the target. And uh, so first up we have the wild Russian boar at 41.2. Gosh, nothing like a brand new target that you don't have any holes or anything to aim at. Ten.
10 left. So at least I got the height good on that. I think that's right where I was aiming. Next up is the Blaze Buck at 45.4. Another black target that's very hard, except it has this crease right in the elbow part. We're going to bank it off of that. It's either a 12 or an 8. One or the other. Right in the pocket. Alright, oh, sorry. Now we have a deer at 43.4. Your targets are a little bit easier because you can see the core rings, but they're still hard. Dude, I knew that. I freaking hit my sleeve. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. So like a five. Nah, it's an eight. It's an eight, but I hit my sleeve bad. We're doing good. <laughs> Sweatshirt is kind of floofy. Okay, now we have a very hard target, the Wolverine. 45.4 yards. This one, you at least have two different types of colors on it. How do guys actually go for the upper on this? I'm going to do that. Call the upper. Oh, just underneath it. Oh, I'm not doing good, boys and girls. Story of my life. 48.5. That's a bomb. I'm an extra large dude. Left. No bueno. Yeah, that one's an eight too. Dude, I shot three eights and two, three eights, three tens. That sucked. 10. Oh. It's just a little low. I had a lot of low ones, so maybe. Oh, buddy. Oh. That was hard. They're usually not that hard. Yeah, that's the one that definitely hit my sweatshirt. That one is probably going to be a 12. Probably. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this every single one's low. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to add a half yard. And Wait, so your sight tape is on? My sight tape's never on. Oh, dude, and these targets are so hard to pull out of. Oh. Oh, dude, I need help. <laughs> I hurt my neck. <laughs> oh. 
This is not gonna be fun if I can't pull any of my arrows out. Oh. Dude, why? Get a workout while you shoot. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, we have the arrows lubed up this time. And I'm gonna add a half yard. See what that happens. Probably still won't shoot any 12s, but we might. Might snag one or two. Let's see. Oh, let's do them opposite this time. Bear 42.7. Oh, just, just left. I had a lot left, didn't I? Yeah. Little left, little low, little right, little high. Okay, 48.9. So let's do 48, 49, and a few. On the extra large deer. Oh, that was windy. Oh, dude, I got it. It's still a little left, though. All right. 48 up here it comes. And we got the badger up next. I want to try to hit this dude upper again. 45.7. Let's do 45, 46 and some change. That's really close, too. Really close. God, oh, just over it. It is nice at ASAs where you're pretty much straight in the woods. You have no wind nearly ever 46.2 too windy wonder if like all the pros, like like the very veteran pros, they don't even look at the rings. They just like know exactly where it is in proportion to like the target. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know, <laughs> I, was, I was like looking at that blood spot because it's totally black and you really can't see anything. I'm like, like right about there's good. And then it's like, I wonder if everyone just like, just knows and they just float right on it. That was windy. Ten. It's getting cold. Forty-two. Let's do forty-two and a half. This is I, this is definitely one of the most challenging targets for me. It's just nothing. See if you can can you see it down there? The boar far left. It's just like nothing. There's no shoulder crease. Nothing. Unless you have an arrow down there already. 
it's hard. Yeah, that was bad. Oh, dude, that was terrible. There's like an eight way left. That is why you practice, and that's why I got some targets. Figure this out. Oh, butter. That worked. Eight. Oh, man. Dude, I didn't do anything. No lube on there. 10, 8, 10, 10. Terrible. Oh, almost a 12. Oh, ow. Hey, I got it on this one though. No, I didn't. Are you kidding me? Dude, I haven't even hit a 12 yet. In 12 arrows, I haven't hit a 12. Oh, I can't even pull my arrows out. I need help. Oh, that was close. For 49 yards, that wasn't terrible. Yep, not 12. do one more arrow just one more only one one more if I miss I quit I need to get some more of this it's drying out on me especially if it takes two gorillas to pull it out all right so one arrow if I miss this 12 I'm going to quit forever how, how do you shoot 12 times and not hit a 12? 49.1. Do it at the deer, big deer. Dude, I missed it. I hit the same exact spot, dude. What is this garbage? I'm shooting another. Ooh, that was low. I just... What is this? Dude, I seriously am not hit it yet. What is this? They're all low though, and left. I know what it is, it's just a sight issue, as usual. Oh, <sighs> that might have been. Oh, dude, that was money. I'm four, just going to shoot these up. Four times the charm. No, that was 12 plus 4, 16th. That's nearly a whole ASA around. It took for me to shoot a 12. Gosh. Oh. 
Oh, that was bad. Oh, <laughs> that was so bad. I'm embarrassed about that one. You watch, folks. Next time, next video we do this, I'm gonna shoot all twelves. Bet. 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 All twelves. Oh, that was so long. <sighs> Thinking too much. And my eyes are going cross-eyed and it started to get blurry. Oh. Nope. Well, we're out of bullets. Let's go check them out. Gosh, a whole ASA round and I hit 112. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm such a weird. Oh, I didn't even hit it. I surrounded it. Like, a group like this, and I surrounded the 12. Guess what? I'm quitting. Thank you for watching. This will be the last video. Bye. Just kidding. <laughs> I see we end it there. Uh -oh. Bye. <laughs>